Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be discussing how to install Ubuntu 16.04 onto VirtualBox as a virtual machine. So let's get started. I already have my virtual machine open and don't worry you'll see this or something similar to this no matter what type of operating system you have whether it's Windows, Linux, or Apple. For me, I have it open under a Linux operating system. So to begin, you go ahead and click on New. All right, and then we go ahead and give it a name, give our virtual machine a name. It already has to type in here, but if you have to choose it, just click the pull down and choose Linux. Again, for this one, click the pull down if it's not already in there and choose Linux. Then click Next. Choose how much memory you want to give it. I have enough to give it 4 gigs. Then click Next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Click uh, Create. Hard disk file type, leave it at the default, D VDI. Click Next. Storage on physical hard disk. We're going to choose dynamically allocated. Okay. And then just click next. The name is okay. Then we're going to choose how big we want the hard drive. We'll just go ahead and choose 20. 20 gigs. And then click next. Okay. Now our virtual machine is created. But before we go even further, we want to come over here to settings. Okay, in this area right here, and the first one we want to click is general. Okay, that's all in good. Click on advanced. Okay, we don't want anything else. So, basic is okay for general. We'll go to system, and everything looks good here. Uh, we can go ahead and take out floppy as the boot order. Um, you can use the PS, PS2 mouse, but I've heard other people say they can use the USB tablet mouse and it's and there's no difference. So either or, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at PS2 for now. Come over to processor. I have a quad core, so I'm going to put two on here. And let's see, acceleration, all that's good. So we'll go to display. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and choose 128 uh, megabytes of memory. And then let's go to storage. And then on storage, we're going to come down and click on empty. Then we're going to come all the way over to the right where the little icon is for the uh, DVD. We're going to left click on that. And this is where we're going to choose our uh, ISO for our Ubuntu. 16.04 so you just left click on that okay go to where your ISO is and just so you know we're installing Ubuntu 16.04 server okay and then you just go ahead after you highlight it you go ahead and click open and you're good there only other thing you want to do is come down to where it says network left click on that you have four adapters, but we're only going to use one today. And where it says NAT, NAT stands for Network Address Translation, we're going to click the pull down arrow and we're going to choose Bridged Adapter. Okay? And that's it. And then you just go ahead and click OK. Okay? All of your settings are saved. And now from here, we're going to go ahead and install Ubuntu Server. 16.04 and so what you need to do is come up here and you click on the button that says start and that will start our installation and what I'm gonna do is from here I'm gonna go ahead and make this scaled mode that way I can control how big or how small I want this window to be because I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here okay so this is the first page that comes up and you just go ahead and choose your English your language for me I'm American English so I 
English is there. If you want to choose something else, just hit the up and down arrows and the side arrows to go to work and choose the language that you want. So for me, it's going to be English. And then you just press enter on your keyboard. And then it comes right up here. And you choose the up and down arrows for which section you want. For us, we want to install Ubuntu server. And then we just click enter. And here's the next screen. It's asking us to choose our language again. Choose your language and just press enter. All right. And this is asking you to uh, choose your location. For me, I'm in the United States. Just choose enter. And for this screen right here, it's asking if you wanna, want the uh, machine to try and detect your keyboard. It doesn't really matter. Um, to save time, let's just click on no. Okay, and this next screen is asking if you want to configure your your uh, keyboard again, or or what is the country of origin for your keyboard? And obviously, for me, it's English, so we just click next or enter on the keyboard. You can click enter for keyboard layout, or choose the layout that you want. Okay, and then it'll go through until it comes up with the next page so we'll just wait for it to come up this video is a part of a blog that I created um, I will include the blog and the information in the uh, description below um, it's a, a video it's a blog on my website talking about how to build and create your own VPS in your own house or in the comfort of your own home. And a VPS is short for virtual private server. So when you guys get a chance, go ahead and click on that and uh, look at that blog for me. All right, so we're waiting for this to go through. Okay, here we go. So choose a host name for your server. I'm gonna choose Ubuntu One. And then hit, you tab down to where it says continue. I just had to hit tab once and then press enter on your keyboard. All right, you wanna put the full name of the user. For me, I'm gonna put the same thing for both the full name and the username. And that's just MXWIL and then hit tab once. And as you can see, it highlights to continue, and then we just press enter. Okay, and the same thing, this is gonna be our username. Tab once, press enter. And then choose a password. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a password. And then I'm gonna tab down until I get to enter, and then I'm gonna press next. And then I need to re-enter my password. Tab down until you hit continue and then press enter on your keyboard. Do you want to encrypt your home your home directory? I don't want to so I'm going to tab to where it says no or no is automatically there so I'm just going to go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. Okay let's see Based on your present physical location, your time zone is in America, New York. Is this the time zone? Is this time zone correct? Yes, it is. It's already at yes, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Okay, so we're at the next section here. This is where it's going to do a partitioning of the hard drive. All right, so you go ahead and choose which one you want by choosing by pressing the down arrow or the up arrow. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and choose guided um, method, use the entire disk, and then press enter on the keyboard. Okay, and so your hard drive is gonna be known as SDA. 
that's going to be where all of your uh, operating system and the software and the uh, system files for your operating system will be installed. And then you just go ahead and press enter. All right, this is a review of everything that's going to happen. Uh, make sure everything checks out all right. And then I'm going to hit tab to go to yes. Yes is highlighted in red. And then we just go ahead and press enter. All right, I think we got a few more screens before we're done. Uh, Ubuntu is very, very quick and very uh, easy to install. Even if you haven't done this before, it's, it's pretty intuitive. And like I said, if you haven't done it before, just watch this video once or twice or however many times you feel comfortable, you should be able to install the Ubuntu server in no time. And to be honest with you, you install this server just like you would Ubuntu 14.04 or 12.04 and any of the newer servers that come out. I'm pretty positive that you'll be able to install them as well. You install one or two servers and then before you know it, all of them will be installed the same way or similar. And I think it's going to come up asking about Grub in just a few moments. Oh, okay. It's asking us about a proxy server. I'm not using a proxy server, so I'm going to tab to the next button, which is highlighted in red for continue. And then I'm going to click enter on my keyboard. Okay, upgrading software. All right, so at this point, you have an option of choosing whether or not you want to do automatic updates, no automatic updates, or manage the system with, uh, with landscape. Um, what I do, and this is just a personal preference for you, I choose no automatic updates. I wish to do all my updates manually, even the security ones. Uh, but feel free to choose whichever one you want. Uh, you can hit the up, the down arrow, or the up arrow to choose your choice, and then press Enter on the keyboard. All right, now we're at the point now where we want to choose the software that we want to install. Okay, now to choose the software, you just hit the down arrow or the up arrow, and to select anything. Like for us, we are going to choose Open SSH Server. To select that on your keyboard, you press the space button. And that will go ahead and put a mark there or an asterisk. Now, to deselect something, which we are going to do for this, is going to be, well, no, we're going to go ahead and keep standard system utilities. But for, as an example, if you chose mail server and then you change your mind, you don't want mail server. To deselect it, just hit the same space, bu uh, space bar on your keyboard. All right, once you've made all of your selections, go ahead and hit the tab bar to continue. It'll be highlighted in red. And then you just go ahead and press enter on your keyboard. So it's, in, it's, select, it's uh, adding our software. Should take a few moments. Shouldn't take too long.
For those of you who are interested, um, I also did uh, some videos on how to install a CentOS 7 server. You can also find that on the blog post that I did earlier. So, if you want to look up CentOS, you can go ahead and look, up, look at that video as well. Alright, we're at 93%. We should be almost done. Four percent. Sorry for all this awkward silence. I know I should go ahead and pause the video, but it's really not taking that long for it to install. Plus, I can use the awkward silence, silence for shameless plugins. Okay, now it's installing the bootloader. So, now it's asking, it seems that this is a new installation, yada yada yada. If so, it should be safe to install the grub loader, uh, the grub bootloader to the master boot record. And you want to go ahead and choose yes for this. The only time that you might want to uh, choose no is if you have multiple uh, operating systems already installed on your hard drive. I don't. This is the whole hard drive is being used for Ubuntu for this. So we're just going to go ahead and press enter as it is already highlighted in uh, red for yes. Looks like we're getting close to finishing the installation. We're at 33%. Shouldn't be too long now. All right, installation is complete. So it is time to reboot or boot into your new system. It's already highlighted in red for continue. So just press the enter button and away we go. Alright, it is rebooting. You can either, oh, okay, you can, here it is now, it's booting up. I was going to say, you can either wait for it to time out or you can press enter on your keyboard, but looks like it didn't wait for it to time out. So. Okay, and here we go. We are up here at our uh, login screen. So I'm going to go ahead and log in just to make sure that thing installed successfully all right and there we go this video has been about installing Ubuntu 16.04 server uh, on VirtualBox thank you very much for your time please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to the uh, to the blog that is uh, related to this video Thank you very much and you have a good day.